Jason from Valley Honda again. Uh, wanted to do another long walk around, interior walk around of a uh, 2013 Accord. This particular car is an EXL uh, four cylinder, but a lot of this is going to be universal on the other ones. I'll tell you as I go along what's not. Um, basically, I'm going to start from the driver's side over to the passenger side and just explain every every button as I would if you were purchasing this vehicle from me. Okay. Uh, starting here, this is the open and close vent. This vent and that vent over there are the only two that are not controlled by the heating and air controls. You have to physically shut them. Shut, open. The rest of the controls and the rest of the vents are down here. All the Accords have climate control. So when you want to turn them on, this is the button here. This is my temperature on my side of the car. This is the passenger's temperature on their side of the car. Each one can be set up differently. If you're the only, if the driver's the only one in the car and you want to sync it, hit the sync and now they're both the same and you control both sides. Auto is just like the thermostat in your house. So if you hit auto, it's going to keep the car at 74 degrees. If you turn the fan speed up and down or you move where you want the airflow to go, it's no longer on automatic. You have to push this button to get that to work. This is your air conditioning on and off. Recirculate if you're stuck in traffic and there's a diesel truck blowing smoke into the car or you smell a skunk, hit recirculate. It won't let the fresh air in. It's also good for heating up the car in the wintertime or cooling down the car in the summertime faster. This right here is your rear defroster and that thing that looks like a flag, that is your mirror defrosters. So if your mirrors get frosted over instead of having to scrape them off, you can just hit the button. And this is also your front defrost. Okay. Over here on seats with leather, uh, accords with leather, you have two memory seats. And the way it works, on the back of your key, like this is driver one, you'd set your seat, put it where you want, set one, and when you get in the car and hit unlock, the seat will go back to where you like it. And then your, your driver two can set there separately from you. Down here is your econ button. When you push it, you're gonna get the little econ light up there. And basically what it does is it alters how the transmission shifts to um, maximize fuel economy and it also changes how the air conditioning works and it also changes how the cruise control works. Um, right here on the sides you're gonna get these little green rings as you drive. When you're driving efficiently they'll turn green. When you're driving not efficiently they will be white. You can actually get it through the menu settings Where's it at? <laughs> Through your menu settings, and you can turn that off if you don't like those lights, and I'll show you where to do that. Down here, this is your lane departure camera, which is that camera up there. And what it does is it shines ahead. The camera looks for the lines in the road, and when you start to drift, it beeps you to get back in, and you'll get a little light down there. Um, also, when the person in front of you starts to brake, but you haven't stopped yet, it will also beep you to say, hey, hit the brakes. And the light will come up there and you'll hear dee dee dee, and I'll show you where that's at. That's your vehicle stability assist, and basically, when you're on an icy patch or on wet roads, it's not going to let your wheel spin if you hit an icy patch. You have the ability to turn this off, and it'll say off up there, if you wanted the tires to spin, like if you wanted to make a running start up a snowy driveway, if you wanted to rock out of deep snow or mud, you would want the wheels to spin, and temporarily you would want that off. But as soon as you turn the car off, or hold that button in again for two seconds, it resets back to being on, because that's where it's supposed to be. These are your power mirrors. Flip it to the left. Up, down, left, right does this mirror. And if you see that little line there, that's your blind spot. So you want to adjust your mirror over here. And then what you see over here is going to be in your blind spot. And then you want to flip this to the left. 
or to the right. And that'll let you do that mirror over there. And in the middle locks it. Back is unlocked for the doors, forward is lock. Or you can use this switch right here. This is a lock off for the windows. So if you, if you want to put your window down, you can do that. If you don't want anybody else to be able to lock it down, turn on that light and those windows won't work. Down below, this has been on Hondas for year, years. Pull it for the trunk, push it for the gas, and then you take your key, this key that's in here, hang on, this key right here, you stick that down in there, you lock it, and then they can't pop the trunk when you loan the car to somebody. And that goes back in here if I can get it in. Also, if you want to take your key out, there's a little switch there. You flip it back and then you can pull that key out. And this is also how you would, you would stick it in the door on the other side if you wanted to put your windows up or down by remote. Like if you left your moonroof open, you could use that and put the windows up. And I have a video, you can actually see that too. Up here, sunglass holder. And it's a soft back so it won't scratch your glasses. This is your mic for your Bluetooth. Pick up, hang up, call by voice. Check that video out too, I'm not going to do that one. Your horn is here. Your cruise is here. You turn it on, it'll say cruise main, then you run it right off these controls, set, accelerate, cancel. But you got to turn this button on to get any of that to work. These are your lights on the EX and up, you have auto headlights. So off, parking lights, auto, they come on at dark when that sentinel senses dark, it'll turn on and then on all the time. Um, on some cars, you pull it towards you for the high beams. On this one, you push it forward for high beams. Right turn signal, left turn signal. And then you also have your fog lights. They come on with low beams. On this particular vehicle, which is an EX, a sunroof and up Accord, when you put your turn signal on, you get the lane watch camera to come on. Now that mirror is folded in, so you're not going to be able to get full benefit of it. But basically, you'll be able to see what's in your, your blind spot. This is 75 feet off your bumper. This is 35, and that's 10 feet off your bumper. Now you can also access this without turning on the turn signal by just pushing this button right here. Okay. Over here are your wipers. On a Honda, it's intermittent. And then you adjust it from a lot of rain to a little rain, low, high, and then you pull it towards you to spray it. There's also a miss function. You just push it up one time, the wiper will swipe one time and then shut back off. On your dash, tachometer, speedometer, temperature, fuel gauge. If you don't wear your seatbelt, that dude will annoy you until you do. High beams and that your lights are on. As you drive, you'll see a bar go up and down. That's your instant fuel uh, economy feedback. Miles on the car, trip A. If you want to reset it, there's a little button right here. Push it in. And then if you push it real fast, there's your range to empty. Average fuel economy, trip B, push it in to reset it. And then oil life, that'll come on at 15% and beep you to tell you the time to change your oil. You're in park. You can also look down here, but this is just as easy. Reverse, neutral, drive. And when you put it into reverse, you get your backup camera. And on an Accord, it will turn the way you are turning when backing out to see what you're going to turn into. These are the sides of the car. 10 feet off your bumper, 7 feet off your bumper, 5 feet off your bumper, and how close you can get and open your tailgate. Part of this package, you have a three view camera. And if you push this button right here, it'll let you change the view. And that's a straight down view. So you can see I'm pretty close to that car. Wide view, normal view, down view, just by pushing that button there. 
This has an auto dimming mirror, so as long as that green light's on, when someone high beams you, it'll automatically dim your mirror, or you can turn it off. No more flip. Up here, this is your interior lights. You can actually pick three settings, regular, lower, and off. And then once you have the setting, you can use the menu select button to brighten it or dim it once you pull it up. CD goes in here, eject button's here. This is your volume, push it to turn on the radio. And that's your volume. And everything's touch screen and you can represent, you can, hang on, let me put this back up, brightness, good. So anything's touch screen, so you pick your source, what you want to listen to. Once you program your phone, uh, you can Bluetooth, iPod, Bluetooth, USB, which is down here, and there's an auxiliary plug-in, and there's also a power outlet there, and there's also one right there, but you just touch what you want to use. AM, FM, XM, CD, USB, iPod, once you program it. Bluetooth, once you program your smartphone. Pandora, if you have the app. AHA, which is a Honda app, uh, lets you listen to the internet or your um, audio posts from Facebook. You can download that app at iTunes. And then the Low Tech Aux plugin. Your phone. You can put your speed dials right in here. So your first six of the most commonly, it'll put their names right there. You can also see your call history. Your presets when you put in your favorite radio stations. You just push and hold it in. And then it sets. Six on FM1, six more on FM2. Six on XM, six on XM2. Sound settings which is going to be your bass, your fade, your balance. Adjust your clock. How you want the lights to see. You want a brighter night, night and day, the difference between the two. Adjust your clock. Nice and easy. Hazard lights if you break down alongside the road, if you get a flat tire. Heated seats, low, high, off for my side, high, low, off for the passenger side. This right here, if your battery dies, you can't get this car out of gear unless you have power to the car and your foot on the brake. So what you do is if you needed to get this out of your garage and have somebody jump it, you would pop this cap off and then stick your key, that part in here, down in there. And it would let you take it out of park put it into neutral and then you could push it out of your garage and have somebody jump it for you. But your warranty on your battery is full three years so if your battery dies in less than three years uh, take it back to the dealer because it's fully replaced. No charge to you. Cup storage. You can do the little cans. You can also do the bigger cups. Storage. Lockable glove box. And then right down in there and if you could see that, that's the lock to pop the trunk by remote. So if you flip that down and then lock this and you loan the car to someone, they can't pop the trunk by remote. Okay. Oh, also, your tilt wheel down here. Pull this towards you. And then you can tilt and telescope and then push it forward and it locks into place. This particular car has a push start and the way it works take this have it in the car put your foot on the brake and push this button and hold it in. When you want to turn it off you don't have to have your foot on the brake it'll just shut off. If the battery in here is going dead and I have a video on this but real quick if the battery's dead and you're having trouble getting the car to start, take this and touch it to the red button. And it'll give you enough juice to get it started. And then you can get a battery in it so you're not stranded. 
Well, I think I've pretty much gone over everything. Oh, uh, one other thing. Your moonroof. It's a one-touch. Oh, this is your Bluetooth, by the way. This is the mic. It's angled towards you. Some people like to scream at the steering wheel, but that's actually your mic, so you don't have to do that. If you want to open the moonroof, slide it open. Stop it anywhere you want. If you want to close it, push it forward. And if your hand gets caught, it does go right back. And then if you just want to pop it, get a little airflow, you want to push it. But remember, you can still close this while that's open. So it won't rate in your headliner. Make sure you close it. Your interior lights, you can push them to turn them on. And there's a little switch here. Off all the time is to the back. On with the doors. This one back here to the driver's side is on, to the passenger side it is off, and in the middle is on when you open the doors. And there you go.